Hi everyone, it's Dawn, and I made a video a few weeks back about skincare ingredient essentials that every woman who wants to fight aging should have in her skincare routine. And that video I thought would be particularly helpful to someone who doesn't have a good, or doesn't know where to begin with a good skincare routine to fight the signs of aging. Um, or just someone who, um, I don't know, what's a refresher? These are things that I think are very important to battle aging as we get up into our 40s and 50s. And I think that they are essential if you really want to fight the aging process. So I'm just gonna show you the products that I love that have the ingredients in them that I mentioned in my last video. In the last video, I went in depth on what ingredients you wanna look for and what they actually do. I'm not gonna focus on that today. I'm just gonna show you the products Products that I love to use in each category and I think there were five or six categories um, to help battle the signs of aging so I'm just gonna jump right in and I'm gonna start with the cleansers and the first one is one that I've used for a very long time and it's the derma e anti wrinkle cleanser it has vitamin a and glycolic acid in it and it's a wonderful cleanser from derma e and it will help remove the dead skin cells that are hanging on when you are exfoliating your skin or washing your face. As we get older, those skin cells will not nat naturally exfoliate themselves off. So this cleanser with the glycolic acid in it will help dissolve the bonds that are hanging those onto your skin and remove them and it will reveal brighter, pinker, more radiant skin. So this is a really great cleanser. The next one is one that I shared in my last video. I held it up to remind me what I wanted to say about it. But it's the Mario Badescu skincare line. It's the enzyme cleansing gel. And this is a gel product that I keep in my shower. And when I get into my shower, I wash my hair. And as my hair's rinse, and I put the shampoo on my hair, then I take a little of this and rub it all over my face. And I leave it sit while I rinse my shampoo out. I might even leave it sit while I shave my legs. And then when I rinse it off, it does the same thing. It just, it has um, pineapple and papaya extracts and fruit enzymes, um, botanicals in it, stem cells, things like that will, that will just help reveal that more radiant skin. And fruit and botanical extracts are very effective enzymatic um, cleansers. They will help, those enzymes will remove the dead skin as well as alpha and beta hydroxy acids. So just because it's a natural product, it doesn't mean that it's going to be less effective. So this is one that I really like, but it is a little bit pricey. I think it was like $14 for this bottle, but for about half that, a really great cleanser would be the Alba Botanical Hawaiian Facial Cleanser. It's a pore purifying pineapple enzyme cleanser. This one is all natural. Um, this is 100% recyclable. It's good for the earth. It's just pure and natural. And it is as effective as the Mario Badescu. So um, I really love, I'm so impressed by Alba Botanicals products. They are just wonderful. And this is a really great cleanser. And it also has exfoliating wipes. There are three in one towelettes, deep pore purifying. They remove your makeup, they cleanse your skin, and then there's a toner also on them. So these are really nice too for the days that you're in a little bit of a hurry and you don't want to go through all the steps of your skincare. The next thing is another Mario Badescu product and it's the glycolic foaming cleanser and this one has glycolic acid in it and it is just a really effective cleanser like the Derma E that has the glycolic acid in it too. So whatever you like, I'm just showing you a few different price points, but even though Mario Badescu is a little more pricey than the Derma E and the Andalou and the Alba Botanicals, it um, isn't crazy expensive. I think this was about $14 and this will last me a very, very long time. So I think that all of these are affordable. They're very easily accessible. You can order them on Amazon. You can get them at Ulta. Um, they're just really great. And the other thing I wanted to say about your cleansing routine, um, and this is just really a summer cleansing routine. In the fall and winter when my skin gets drier, I do change it up. I wanted to make sure I added that. 
But when you are cleansing your skin, I used to not pay very much attention to what was in my cleanser at all. I thought to myself, it's only gonna sit on my skin for a few moments and I'm going to rinse it off. But now I'm realizing that the cleansing process is should be something that we thoroughly enjoy and take our time with. As you're cleansing your skin, you could massage your skin, you could um, just really show your skin some TLC because when we cleanse our skin, it's usually just a chore that we wanna get done. But if you make it an important step in your skincare process, you'll start to love and enjoy the process. And it'll be like you're receiving a facial from your every night if you just take a little bit of time and be conscientious of what you're doing as you're removing everything pay attention to any rough patches kind of get in touch with your skin literally and figuratively so that way you really know what your skin needs later in the process because you're paying such close attention to it so I just wanted to add that after you rinse your cleanser off and your skin is nice and fresh and dry, it's going to take about 30 to 45 minutes to naturally set its own pH. So that's why I think it's really important that you go in with a toner, a pH correcting toner. I think the less ingredients it has in it, the better. You wanna stay away from alcohol and you wanna stay away from witch hazel in your toner. Witch hazel is an astringent and it's not a toner, even though I thought it was for many years. <laughs> and um, alcohol is just so drying and it's not going to reset the pH in your skin. So some, P some pH correcting toners I really love are by Andalou Organics. And I have the one in the orange bottle that I can't find right now. It's somewhere around here. And it's a brightening one with vitamin C. And this one is a different one. And this one is for, um, this has resveratrol and Q10 in it. But it's a very simple product. It smells lovely. And it just resets the pH of your skin. So after you cleanse it, you're gonna spritz this onto your face. Just pat it dry and you're gonna go in with your next step. A couple others would be, again, the Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner, and this one's got glycolic acid in it to help if you really need help exfoliating dry skin. I would use this one or the Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Toner with Vitamin A and Glycolic Acid. This one is the companion product to the cleanser, and I would use this after a Retin-A night or a couple nights late, couple days later when that dead skin is starting to slough off and I wanna make sure it gets removed so that I have a nice smooth canvas to apply my makeup on and my products on to the next day. I never like to have my skin flaking like for days. So, and that's just my personal preference. So I um, try to be as gentle as possible with my skin. So these are have glycolic acid in them. This one does not, but they all do the same thing. They are gonna reset your pH and that's their primary role in your skincare routine. The next group of products are nighttime products. And one of them I have recently used just this summer, the end of spring and summer, and it is a vitamin C serum. I never used just a straight vitamin C serum until this year. I always used vitamin C in other products, but I decided to purchase the Mario Badescu Skincare Vitamin C Serum, and I love it. I feel like it really does reveal more radiant skin. My texture looks better, my skin is smoother and brighter, and this says to use it every other night, so I use it as the directions say, but you know your own skin best, and if you think you could use it more or less, then I would do what you think is best for your own skin. But I use it as directed on the label every other night, and I don't use it on a Retin-A night. And I only use my Retin-A now in the summertime two times a week, maybe three, but definitely two. So I put this on the nights that I'm not using Retin-A, and it has been a wonderful addition to my skincare routine, and I wish I had started it years ago. The next thing is my Rafisa 0.5%. This looks empty, but there is still plenty in here. And a Rafisa is a more emollient Retin-A product. It's still Trentinoyan. It's still the 0.5%, but it's in a more emollient solution for more mature skin. So it doesn't have the intense drying effects that say my 
trentanoin 0.1% per, would have. And so I use this one with extreme caution. This one I can apply pretty liberally and I get the benefits of the Retin-A and it's just a wonderful product. So definitely you want to have a retinoid in your routine. And if you can't tolerate Retin-A, you could go to the drugstore and get Roke or whatever products that have retinol in them that your skin can tolerate and that you enjoy using. The only difference is that when you use a retinol versus a retin-A is that it's going to have to go into a con one conversion cycle in your body where it converts it to retinoic acid and then it can use it um, the same way that retin-A is used in your skin. So there's no harm in that. Just do what's best for your skin and I am all about not irritating your skin unnecessarily. That's just my particular stance on it. I feel like keeping our lipid barrier intact keeping it's it's your skin is your body's first line of defense against infection and I treat it as such I just want my skin to be intact at all times so um, caution with these kinds of products um, a couple very gentle exfoliants that I really enjoy when I'm not using my Retin-A all that often, or sometimes I'll just use it once a month in the winter time a little more often. This I can't say enough about. It's the Derma E Essentials Overnight Peel Alpha Hydroxy Acids, and it's an exfoliant facial. And what it is, is just a little product in a pump. You pump it into your hands, not on a Retin-A night, not on a Vitamin C night for me. Put it on my skin, all over my face, and then I go to sleep and in the morning I cleanse my skin with a gentle cleanser and it really does just remove all that gunk in my pores it removes um, any dead skin hanging on um, you know I typically get some dry patches here sometimes here it really takes care of those areas and then I have another one that's even a little bit more gentle and it's by Acure Naturals and it's the purifying fruit peel and this is fruit enzymes this one's alpha hydroxy acids, and this is an active fruit enzyme product. And what you do is you put this on your skin much the same way as you would this one, but you remove it in three to five minutes. So it's a little, um, it, if it's a little more expeditious. You can do it quickly, get it done, and not have the product on your skin all night. But neither of these irritate my skin very much, not at all, actually. Um, I would definitely do a little test patch somewhere on your skin prior to sleeping a whole night with it on or even this just do like three to five minutes with it somewhere on your face and see how your skin reacts to it and if there's no like irritation or anything then go ahead and use them they're sold on the mass market at drug stores and things like that so they're pretty much made for anyone but I find them to be very effective the next thing would be my Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Salicylic Acid. And I really love this product because salicylic acid is so good at getting deep into the pore and kind of clearing out the pore. And I really like to use this product if I'm having a breakout or if my pores are just feeling a little congested, like if I notice I'm getting some blackheads and things like that, I'll just take a little cotton round and put this on my skin and um, just sleep with it on one night or put it on in the, that morning, sometimes even beneath my makeup. But um, I really love this product. This one is all gone and I have to reorder it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to order this exact same product. I'm going to do a little research, but I really liked this one, but I might want to compare it to some others. So I'll let you know. Okay. Then the, one of the last steps is going to be a moisturizer. And I told you all about my history with moisturizers in my last video, which is linked below, um, how I didn't believe in them for a long time. And then I started changing my thinking and I realized how important they are. What I really am loving this summer are two of them. And one I like a little more than the other, and it's this Andalou Organics Probiotic and C Renewal Cream. And this is just a beautiful day cream. Um, I have the whole kit that goes with this whole brightening line. They have stem cells in them. They have vitamin C in them. It's just a beautiful moisturizer. It is goes on so 
It goes on creamy, but it spreads out so well. It doesn't feel thick. It does not feel heavy. It's beautiful for beneath makeup. And so I'm really enjoying this one and will most definitely be repurchasing it. The other one is the Estee Lauder Swiss Performing Extract. And I love this one too. The only thing that I would say about this one is it has a fragrance. It's not a really strong fragrance. It's a typical Estee Lauder fragrance and it smells a little um, kind of powdery, I guess, but it doesn't last. It dissipates. It's not an all natural product, but it is a beautiful, luxurious moisturizer. And so I'm really happy I found out about this one too. I really want to try more uh, Estee Lauder skincare. If you have experiences with Estee Lauder skincare, let me know. But I haven't tried a lot of it and I've tried the night, um, the night repair cream, the overnight repair that you always get a million samples of whenever you purchase Estee Lauder, and I really like it. But um, I do prefer to use all natural products if I can, but you know, I like to try everything and anything as long as it works and it's effective. So these are two moisturizers that I'm loving this summer and you could use whatever moisturizer you like with whatever ingredients in it that you like. Um, Andalou Organics makes another one that has the resveratrol and the Q10 in it and it's lovely too. I mean this whole line is it can meet any woman's needs because they have different colors and ingredients based on your skincare type. So this is definitely worth looking into. Okay, then the other thing I wanted to make sure I mentioned, and I talked about it before, and some of you asked me if I would do a video telling you my favorite oils, but I just wanted to mention two oils that I like on my face. And one is coconut oil. I've used it longer than any other skincare product I've used ever since I was in my 20s. It's just beautiful and I love it for so many things. But I also really love this Trader Joe's 100% pure jojoba oil. And as long as it's 100% pure, organic and natural for an oil, I really like it. And I like to use this. Um, it comes out with like just a little dropper. I just put a little dropper in my hand and at night and sometimes in the morning, I run it through my hair. And jojoba oil mimics your own natural sebum the best of any oils. So jojoba oil would be compatible with most women's skin types. Um, and then I take what's on my hands and I just press it into my skin, even over my makeup sometimes. It's just so beautiful. It, see it seeps into your skin. It doesn't look oily when it's on and it doesn't, um, it just makes you look more radiant and beautiful in my opinion. So I think this is an essential, any kind of facial oil that you really love. Um, and then the next one that I definitely want to make sure I shout out, I've mentioned it in other videos. I found out about this from my subscriber. Carl. This is the Derma E Illuminating Face Oil and it's the jojoba oil and cranberry extract. And it's another beautiful oil that I use much in the same way. I don't put this one in my hair. It's just so small. I save this one for beneath my eyes and on my face, but um, because I want to make it last. Um, the, the jojoba oil from Trader Joe's is very inexpensive and you have a whole lot more here. But this one is very lovely too. And it's, I don't know, I want to say maybe about $11. I'll link it in the description box. Um, even the Palmer's oil, and this is um, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Face Oil. It's loaded with so many good things for your skin, and I've loved this for a long time, and it's a good facial oil as well. Um, but if you watch a lot of um, mature women here on YouTube, there are so many wonderful ideas for face oils. We all like different things. I know Kakai oil is um, a really big one right now that so many women love, and I haven't tried that one yet. I'd really like to, um, so I can't speak about that one. And rosehip oil, too. I don't use a straight rosehip oil. Um, the only reason I haven't tried those is they have retinol in them, and I already use my Retin-A on my skin, and I'm just concerned I'd be adding more retinol in, and I don't want to irritate my skin, but I don't know if that would be true or not. Maybe someone can tell me, um, but that's why I haven't tried those two oils yet. Then the last thing are sunblock, and you know we could talk about this for hours, but I'll keep it short and sweet. My favorite is a Korean one by Make Piram, and it looks like this. I purchased mine on Amazon. It wears very nicely beneath makeup. These um, Korean sunblocks block more UVA and UVB 
be rays than American sunblocks do. Um, I think that there's something in them that the FDA hasn't completely approved here, and this is very effective. I have been at the pool for all day long, and I've gotten no sun on my skin. All of this is just my Jergens from the shower, the wet the wet shower tanner and I, I'm not pink. My freckles have been kept at bay this summer and I have really logged some serious hours in the sun. So I would really recommend this one and I would recommend Neutrogena. I think they do a fabulous job, but I really like the smell of this Sun Balm 70. I usually like it to be a 50 or higher, although everything I've read says that as long as it's 50, it doesn't even matter if it's higher because if it's at least a 50, you're going to have to re reapply it every two hours anyways, so it, it doesn't matter after 50. So I just give myself the added sense of security since it's the same price. <laughs> I purchase 100 in the Neutrogena or at least 70 in the Sun Balm, and I do reapply it often, probably even more often than every two hours. And then you all know I love the brush on mineral sunblocks that a um, mineral fusion makes. Usually natural brands make them and they are very effective at reapplying sunblock over your your makeup during the day. And all it does is powder your skin and make it look fresh. I think are the five six essentials that every woman should have in her skincare routine. And so I didn't go into serums today. I just went into these essentials. I only talked about vitamin C serum because I think that that is an essential. But I think as for the other serums and things like that, they're all a personal preference and a matter of your skin type. Some women do not have issues with enlarged pores and some women do. So the women who do are going to use products that help minimize their pores by decongesting them, cleaning them out, or another woman might not care about that so much. Or, um, you know, you might have fine lines and wrinkles where another woman just wants brightening. Some women have problems with firming. Other women don't don't really. Other women don't really have that problem. So um, those serums, I think, are a matter of preference and what you like to use. I can certainly share with you what I like to use, but. Um, you know, that's really a personal thing for you, and I don't want to tell you what kind of serums to use on your skin, but I think these other things are very important, and I think every woman should use them. And this is going to be a giveaway video as well, um, because when I do giveaways, I can only pick like one person to win, so I want to give more of you an opportunity to win my giveaways. So I have not purchased what I'm going to get for this giveaway yet, but I've seen it online. And what it is, is a little travel case with some Mario Badescu skincare products in it. And it has just little smaller sizes to get someone started if they wanted to try the Mario Badescu skincare. I'll link it in the description box what it looks like, but I'm going to, and I'll put this will be the prize, so you'll know that's what I'll be giving away. And if you would like to enter this giveaway, just say, just give me a tip on what is your best anti-aging secret, if you have one. And if you don't, just say, I don't have an anti-aging <laughs> tip. But um, just as long as you mention either a tip or not having a tip, you'll be entered into the giveaway. And I hope you'll enjoy the products that I'll send to you. And I'll pick this winner in two weeks. I've been doing a giveaway um, every week lately, so I wanna give myself a little bit of time to get it together because I start to lose track of what I was giving away in which video. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you wanna be entered into the giveaway and give me a skincare tip. And I hope you all have a blessed and beautiful day.